Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most gracious Lord, send down upon us the grace of your Holy Spirit, to grant us intelligence and strengthen the powers of our soul, that we may attend to the instruction given us, and grow up to glorify you, our Creator, to gladden our parents, and to serve the Church and our people. Amen. Lately, we have been talking about God's love in His family, the Church. There are countless ways that God shows His love for us. Let us remember, He created us out of love, for no other reason. We know that we can show God our love by having faith in Him and trusting His plans for us. So this time, we will continue talking about loving God. Besides showing faith and trust, we can show love through obeying God's commandments. When, for example, we are obedient to our parents, we show them that we love them. We trust that they guide us to what is best for us, having full confidence in their love. It is the same with God. We obey God because we trust His love and His guidance. We have in mind that by following His commandments, He protects us from many evil things that would happen if we didn't. Disobeying God's commandments would lead us far away from Him. How would you feel if your parents were nowhere around and you couldn't find them? I'm thinking it would be quite scary. We obey God because we don't want to make Him sad. We don't want to chase Him away, turn our back on Him, and be left without His presence. Usually, if we don't follow God's commandments, our disobedience leads us to great trouble. But if we do follow God's instruction, this is good not only for us, but also for many people around us. Obeying God's commandments and following His instruction multiplies His blessings and helps us grow in holiness, which means that He will be more present in our life. We show Him that we want Him there. Here, I will tell you a story from the Old Testament that we will connect to obedience this time. This will be the story of Jonah. Jonah was God's prophet, which means that God talked to Jonah directly. God did not talk to everyone directly because not everyone was able to hear God's words. So if he had a message for the people, he would tell it through his prophet. Once, God told his prophet Jonah that the people of the city, Nineveh, made him sad with their bad behavior. So in order to correct their wrongdoings, he would have to erase the city. But God did not wish to punish them right away. He wanted to give them a chance to repent, that is, to see how awful their bad deeds were and to correct themselves. So Jonah would need to go and warn the people of Nineveh, inform them that God was upset by their bad behavior. However, Jonah refused to do this. He disobeyed God and he tried to hide from him. He got on a ship and tried to run away to the end of the world. As the ship was sailing, there was a storm. It was impossible to continue on, and the people on the ship thought that they were all going to drown. In a strange way, they knew that there was something wrong 
and God did not allow them to go on. In the meantime, Jonah was trying so hard to get away from everything that he was sleeping during the storm. But the captain of the ship woke him up and asked him if God was actually upset with him. Jonah confessed that it was so. He was trying to run away from God. He saw that God was not letting him get away from his responsibility, and he did not want all the people on the ship to drown. So he jumped into the stormy sea. A giant fish, a leviathan, swallowed Jonah and he stayed inside the fish for three days. On the third day, the Leviathan brought him back to Nineveh. Here, Jonah delivered God's message. The people of Nineveh understood that their deeds were very bad and harmful to them. So they repented. To show their repentance, they prayed and fasted, which means they had no food or very little food. So God could see how sorry they were in their hearts, and He forgave them, and He did not punish them. So we see now that when Jonah was disobedient, this led to his own suffering, the difficult voyage on the sea, and it almost led to the drowning of the people on the ship and the punishment of the people of Nineveh. However, when Jonah was obedient to God, this meant that the people of Nineveh had the chance to understand that they were behaving badly and to improve their life and come back to God. Let us now be obedient and follow God's commandments so we can fill our lives and the lives of those around us with God's grace and presence. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. May the Lord Jesus Christ, through the prayers of His Most Holy Mother and of all His saints, have mercy on us and save us.